Every driver knows the feeling. The monthly payment that never really ends. The fuel that eats more of your wallet each week. The surprise repairs that arrive just when you thought you were safe. Parking, insurance, that second car sitting quietly in the driveway because you only use it on weekends. And hanging over it all, the quiet thought that in a few years you'll have to do it all again. Trade, upgrade, repeat. That's been the cycle for generations. You work for your car and not the other way around. But what if that pattern could finally stop? What if one machine could handle every trip you make? Weekday commutes, grocery runs, road trips, family weekends? and still cost less to keep running than your phone bill. Elon Musk says that time is close. The year is 2026, and his plan centers around one vehicle, the Tesla Model 2. A compact electric car designed to end the old rhythm of car ownership once and for all. It's not a dream car meant for posters or showrooms. It's meant for real life, for the family that needs one reliable car, for the commuter who's tired of gas prices, and for the person who wants practicality without giving up innovation. The idea behind the Model 2 is simple but powerful. One affordable electric car that replaces your backup vehicle, your upgrade schedule, and even part of your household power supply. A car that does enough to make you stop thinking about what you'll buy next. Let's start with the problem it's trying to solve. Owning a car is expensive not just because of the sticker price but because of everything that comes after it. Maintenance, fuel, depreciation, parking, registration, the small numbers that quietly drain your wallet. And for most families, the second car doubles those costs just to cover rare weekends. Tesla's Model 2 is built to erase that second car. It's compact but practical, a single vehicle that fits weekday routines and weekend adventures. With fold-flat rear seats and a front trunk, it offers enough space for luggage, tools, or groceries without needing an extra vehicle just in case. And then there's the fuel, or rather, the electricity. Electric vehicles usually cost about 4 to 6 cents per mile to drive, while typical gasoline cars run closer to 10 to 13 cents. Drive a thousand miles in a month and you save roughly 50 to 60 dollars, quietly stacking up month after month. But Musk's plan goes further than just savings at the pump. The Model 2 is built around the idea of power independence. With a battery of around 50 kilowatt hours, it can feed power back into your home through vehicle-to-load features. That means when a storm hits or the lights go out, your car can keep a few essentials running. Lights, Wi-Fi, maybe even the refrigerator, for days. You don't need a separate generator. Your car becomes the backup. Charging is designed to fit into everyday life. Plug in overnight, wake up to a full battery. With a normal level 2 home charger, a Model 2 can go from 10 to 80% in 4 or 5 hours, the kind of routine you barely notice. A full session costs only a few dollars. Then there's longevity, the quiet question that defines every car purchase. How long before something big fails? Modern EV batteries are already hitting thousands of cycles. At around 250 miles per full charge, that means hundreds of thousands of miles of use. Some research even suggests million-mile cells under controlled conditions. Musk's engineers are betting on chemistry that lasts long enough to make replacing the car feel unnecessary. Maintenance follows the same pattern. There's no oil to change, no spark plugs, no belts to swap. Surveys show that EV owners spend 40-50% to 50 less on upkeep than owners of comparable gas vehicles. Add that to the fuel savings and the numbers point to hundreds sometimes more than a thousand, dollars saved every year. Put all of that together and a clear story emerges. The Model 2 aims to trim monthly spending, reduce downtime in repair shops, and stretch the lifespan of your car to the point where you simply keep it until you want to change, not because you have to. So what's the financial logic behind it? Musk's vision for Tesla isn't just about cars, it's about ownership that adapts. The Model 2 starts simple, keeping the base price low, and adds capabilities only when the driver wants them. That means you don't need to pay for features you'll never use. You can add performance upgrades, advanced driver assistance, or premium connectivity later through software. Even Tesla's full self-driving supervised package can be turned on month to month. Use it for a trip, turn it off the next month, and your costs drop again. This flexibility changes how people think about buying cars. You're not locked into one high trim level forever. You buy what you need and your car grows when your lifestyle does. 
Everything runs through Tesla's app. From placing your order and uploading documents to booking service or checking your battery's health. The days of standing in a dealership or waiting on paperwork are gone. Even small add-ons follow this pay-only-when-you-need-it rule. Premium connectivity, satellite maps, streaming, all optional. You can enable them when they add value, disable them when they don't. For a family balancing real-world budgets, that kind of control matters. It makes the Model 2 not just affordable but predictable. Now imagine the Model 2 is something more than just a personal vehicle. Tesla has hinted at integrating ride-sharing directly into its app, turning your car into a source of income when you're not using it. The average car in America sits parked for about 95% of the day. That's a huge amount of idle potential. Even if you let your Model 2 drive only two evenings a week, the earnings could offset your monthly payment. Drivers in traditional ride-hailing average roughly $23 per hour before expenses. A few hours a week could bring in several hundred dollars each month. Of course, results depend on where you live but the point stands, the car you own could also earn. And if you're not into giving rides, peer-to-peer -peer sharing remains an option. Platforms like Turo and GetAround already show the model works. Tesla could streamline that process, making it all run from one app, from pricing to scheduling to insurance. You choose when to share your car for how long and for how much. The app handles the rest. But Musk's longer-term vision goes even deeper. He imagines a network of autonomous Teslas, cars that earn for you while you sleep. The technology isn't there yet for full autonomy, but Tesla's incremental progress keeps pushing that line forward. The Model 2 built with the latest hardware suite is prepared for that day. When the software catches up, it won't need a redesign, it'll already be capable. What really makes this plan powerful isn't any single feature. It's the way all of them fit together. Lower purchase cost, lower running cost, flexible upgrades, self-managing software, built-in earning potential and long lifespan. Taken together, they challenge the very idea of what a car is supposed to be. Think about how your phone evolved. You didn't buy a new one every time a feature was added. It updated overnight while you slept. Tesla wants the same thing for cars. Over-the-air updates already tweak acceleration, range, and even braking. A Model 2 that starts basic could, over time, become smarter, more efficient, and safer, without visiting a service center. Tesla's software history shows how quickly that ecosystem evolves. Community trackers have recorded hundreds of software versions rolling out to Teslas around the world. Small refinements, security updates, even entertainment changes. For a mass-market car like the Model 2, that cadence means you can buy it once and let it grow with you. The updates aren't limited to screens and icons. They influence how the car drives and charges. When you navigate to a supercharger, the car automatically warms or cools its battery for optimal charging speed. It schedules home charging to align with your utility's off-peak hours. It remembers your seat, your mirrors, your radio preferences, and if someone else in the family drives, it switches instantly to their profile through the cloud. These touches may sound small, but they create the feeling that your car truly knows you. For older drivers especially, that simplicity matters. You don't have to learn it again every time. You just get in and it feels right. Tesla's app-first approach also cuts the small annoyances that traditional ownership creates. Waiting in line, signing papers, guessing what service costs. Everything happens on your phone. Order, delivery, maintenance, upgrades, all in one place. The process is cleaner, faster, and in many ways cheaper. Of course, none of this works without robust hardware underneath. That's why Tesla designs its cars with spare capacity in computing and power systems. It's future-proofing, so new features can run years later without replacing major parts. The Model 2 might start with simple assisted driving, but the sensors and chips are ready for whatever comes next. That balance between physical durability and digital flexibility is what makes the Model 2 concept unique. It's not just another small car. It's a platform for the next decade of driving. And for the average family, it could change the math completely. Imagine buying one car and keeping it for 10 years without it feeling outdated. Imagine paying less each month because you only activate the features you use. Imagine your car covering part of its own cost through sharing when you don't need it. This isn't about luxury anymore, it's about stability. For most people over 40 that's worth more than a fancy batch. Let's be honest, not everyone will jump in right away. New technology always meets doubt. People worry about charging networks, about battery life, about whether an affordable Tesla will still feel like a Tesla. But the trend lines are pointing in one direction. EVs are getting cheaper to build. Charging is getting faster. Software is getting smarter. The Model 2 represents the moment when all those lines finally meet. 
A car that costs less to buy, less to run, and more to keep. It's the kind of shift that doesn't just challenge automakers, it challenges habits. Because the truth is, most people don't love replacing their cars. They do it because they have to. When your transmission goes, when the repairs cost more than the car's worth, when the new model gets better gas mileage, that's when people upgrade. Tesla wants to end that. It wants your car to keep improving without you trading it in. By 2026, if Elon Musk delivers on his timeline, the Model 2 could arrive as the first EV truly built for everyone. Practical size, reliable range, self-updating software, affordable entry price, and a pathway to earn when idle. It's a car that behaves like a piece of technology, not a ticking financial clock. It may sound ambitious, but that's been Tesla's pattern since day one. Start high, prove the tech, then bring it down to scale. The Roadster proved performance. The Model S proved luxury. The Model 3 proved volume. The Model Y proved versatility. And now, the Model 2 aims to prove affordability. If it succeeds, it won't just sell cars, it will change what ownership means. A car that doesn't age out of usefulness that costs less each month and that maybe even pays you back. So the next time you see those monthly bills, the fuel receipts, the insurance renewals, the maintenance quotes, remember this, the cycle doesn't have to continue. The tools to break it are already here, rolling quietly toward production. That's the promise of the Tesla Model 2. One car for weekdays and weekends. One battery for the road and for your home. One platform for saving, earning, and evolving. And it all begins soon, if everything goes to plan by 2026. If you believe the car you buy next should be the last one you need for a very long time, this might be the moment to watch closely. You've been watching Torque Element. If you enjoyed this story and want to stay ahead of the next big shift in electric vehicles, tap subscribe and help us reach 2,000 supporters. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss what's coming next. Because the next revolution in driving isn't about speed, it's about freedom. And it might just start with the Tesla Model 2.